The history of the Colorado National Guard began on a cold winter morning in 1860, before the state of Colorado was even a state. On that day, civic leaders from the city of Auraria, now downtown Denver, gathered to discuss growing security concerns. At the end of that meeting on January 23rd, the territory's first two independent companies of organized militia were formed, the Jefferson Rangers and the Denver Guards. Within two weeks, the newly sanctioned Jefferson Rangers were called upon to protect the city from a lawless band of thieves known as the Bummers. Lieutenant Edward Weinkoop, an important figure in the founding of Denver, led the Jefferson Rangers in the successful removal of the Bummers from the area. From that day, the Colorado National Guard built on its legacy of service to community, state, and nation. The militia fought during the Civil War. The 1st Colorado Infantry marched 400 miles in 13 days to defeat the Confederates at Glorieta Pass, New Mexico. Major John Shivington and Captain Weinkoop distinguished themselves. During the Spanish-American War, when Colorado volunteers led American forces into the city of Manila, raising the first American flag over the main objective. During World War I, when two-time Medal of Honor recipient and Adjutant General of Colorado, Paul Baldwin, sent Colorado soldiers under Colonel Patrick Hamrock to the front lines to provide artillery support in the main battles in the campaign. During World War II, Colorado Guard units fought in both Europe and the Pacific. One of Colorado's most accomplished military and civic leaders, Brigadier General Felix Sparks, led the 3rd Battalion of the 157th Infantry Regiment to help liberate the Nazi labor camp in Dachau. During the Korean War, Colorado soldiers and airmen mobilized for the first time as two separate military branches to stop the spread of communism. F-86 fighter pilots and artillery personnel both joined the fight. During the Vietnam conflict, the Colorado Air National Guard became the first Air National Guard organization to be called to combat as a unit. F-100 pilots flew more than 1,000 combat sorties from Phan Rang Air Base. They dropped more than 10,000 tons of ordnance. During Desert Shield and Desert Storm, Colorado citizen soldiers and airmen joined coalition forces to remove the Iraqi army from Kuwait. The history of the Colorado National Guard is one of many firsts. The first and only Air National Guard demonstration team, dubbed the Minutemen, hailed from Colorado. Walt Red Eye Williams led this precision flying team, which, beginning in 1953, performed at air shows across the country and around the world. Their daring maneuvers showcased precision flying skills to thousands. They captivated the public and increased recruitment into the Colorado Air National Guard until the unit disbanded in 1959. The Colorado Guard was even first in space for both Army and Air. Soldiers in Colorado Springs are ready to defend our nation from ballistic missile attacks. Airmen in Greeley provide immediate worldwide mobile missile warning, space launch, and nuclear detonation detection. The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 turned a page in the Colorado Guard's service to the nation. Within minutes, airmen launched the first defensive aircraft over Denver and provided round-the-clock combat air patrols over the Colorado Front Range. Colorado citizen airmen guard America's skies with the most agile and dependable airframes flown today. Airmen are always on alert to protect our nation from air threats. Buckley Air Force Base is the only central alert fighter location for Operation Noble Eagle. These same F-16s were also the first of their kind to arrive in Iraq to support Operation Iraqi Freedom. Since September 11, 2001, thousands of Colorado citizen soldiers and airmen have deployed for combat missions in support of operations enduring freedom and Iraqi freedom. Even today, Fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, neighbors, employees, and friends stand in harm's way supporting missions around the world to fight terrorism. The Colorado Guard was among the first to form alliances under the State Partnership Program. Colorado has forged strong, lasting international relationships with the Republic of Slovenia in 1993 and in 2004 by personal request of His Royal Highness Lieutenant General Prince Faisal bin al-Hussein, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. 
The program facilitates the peaceful exchange of military, civil, and cultural ideas. Colorado was the first state in the program's history to partner with a Middle Eastern country. While being engaged in significant overseas commitments to perform its federal mission, the Guard has never forgotten its mission back home. When directed by the governor, the Guard becomes a vital state partner during emergencies. Civil support team members aid state and local agencies with identification, assessment, advice, and assistance in response to hazardous materials like suspicious packages and substances. Special teams provide civil and federal authorities with critical infrastructure vulnerability assessments. The Colorado Guard is ready, reliable, essential, and accessible for the people of the Centennial State. The Guard is the first military responder during domestic emergencies. They lend citizens a hand through security, disaster relief, and rescue efforts. When torrential rains caused the Big Thompson Canyon to flood, the Colorado Guard was there. During the blizzards of 2006, both the Army and the Air National Guard delivered hay to farmers to feed their stranded livestock. During the 2008 Democratic National Convention, Colorado soldiers and airmen were ready to serve in the event of an emergency. During winter storms in 2009, Guard members rescued motorists, cleared roads, and transported a patient to the hospital for dialysis. And when tornadoes ripped through Holly and Windsor, Guard members, some who lost their own homes, helped others pick up the pieces of their lives. The Colorado Guard was a dependable neighbor and assisted first responders to get their communities back to normal. State employees from the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs have also served as valuable team members during emergencies, like Hurricane Katrina. Many state employees are veterans or are currently serving. Each year, many participate in the Denver Homeless Veterans Stand Down to help them find basic services like housing, employment, and health care. They travel to state veterans nursing homes to let the elderly veterans know they're not forgotten. The Civil Air Patrol falls under the direction of the Adjutant General. These volunteers have played a significant role in search and rescue and transportation of emergency personnel and medical supplies. Colorado Army National Guard helicopters conduct daring search and rescue missions in dangerous conditions when terrain or altitude favors military aircraft with specialized capabilities. Colorado is home to the only U.S. military aviation school that trains pilots to manage power in mountain environments. The High Altitude Army National Guard Aviation Training Site, known as HATS, draws military pilots from around the world to the small mountain town of Gypsum. The Guard is Colorado. Each citizen soldier or airman has a vested interest in a community somewhere in the state. Guard members are firefighters, teachers, airline pilots, mechanics, police officers, doctors, ministers, and lawyers. They all work in and out of uniform to better the Centennial State. Colorado's Joint Counter-Drug Task Force assists law enforcement with hundreds of arrests and seizure of currency and drugs. Through its signature Red Ribbon program, Guard members personally challenge local students to stay the course, finish school, and excel in all they do. Guard men and women have educated more than 100,000 Colorado youth in drug abuse prevention. Colorado soldiers and airmen train like they fight. Training opportunities can apply in both the civilian and military worlds. With a generous tuition assistance program, Guard members can attend any of Colorado State colleges and universities. Exercises with civil authorities and first responders provide realistic training to build a knowledgeable force. Innovative readiness training develops skills and builds community trust, such as when Colorado soldiers and airmen volunteer with the Nine Health Fair to transport medical supplies across the state. This brings critical health screening capabilities to thousands in need. Each year, Guard members donate more than 1,400 hours, drive more than 13,000 miles, and deliver more than 100 tons of medical supplies. Innovative readiness training leverages the value of military training to benefit soldiers, airmen, and communities. This training has far-reaching economic impact by creating jobs, facilities, and services. The Colorado Guard has always answered the call of the state and nation. To continue to do so, the Guard must attract and retain quality soldiers and airmen. Service members must have time away from work to train and serve, and jobs waiting when they return. 
The Colorado Guard appreciates and honors employers for their selfless sacrifice and contribution to the security of the state and nation. No soldier or airman could rise to their full potential without support at home. That's why the Colorado Guard has internal support programs to ensure families are cared for during peacetime and war. Family sacrifices should never be forgotten. No doubt about it, the Colorado National Guard has a glorious past and an even brighter future. Ready, reliable, and relevant, Colorado citizen soldiers and airmen look to the coming years with great anticipation. Replacing and modernizing equipment will ensure mission effectiveness and seamless integration with active duty counterparts. Dual use equipment offers more capability, capacity, and value for every tax dollar spent. For example, aircraft used in combat can assist local civil authorities with emergency response and relief operations here at home. Building and updating readiness centers, maintenance and training facilities will accommodate increasing end strength. This will keep pace with growing responsibilities alongside a growing Colorado population. The Colorado National Guard has a proud, glorious history that our soldiers and airmen continue to write today. More than 150 years later, over 5,300 Colorado citizen soldiers and airmen live and work in the communities where they serve, always ready, always there. The liberties Coloradans and all Americans enjoy still depend on future generations of Guard men and women to step forward and defend them.